Hello, welcome back to ASP.NET MVC tutorial. I am Ashish. So this is part 12 of this video series. Please watch part 10 and part 11 of this video series. In part 10, I just created this form and in part 11, I just inserted some data in database using entity framework. Now in this tutorial, I am going to discuss about the server side and client side validation in an MVC application. So let's get it started. So here I have created my form and let's have view of it. Okay, so this is my drop down. You can see and let's imagine if user does not enter anything and submit this form, then definitely either null value will be saved in uh, my database or it's going to give me an exception message. So I'm going to explain you that in what case it's going to give me an exception. So here I, if you see I have just taken uh, uh, the department ID as a nullable field. Okay, so that's why it's going to allow me to insert null value here. Okay, so if you see that here the department ID is the foreign key. Okay, and if you see the department ID in the primary table, the department ID can be vary from 1 to 4. And same 1, 2, 3, 4 can be inserted in this table. Okay, and if you don't take it, uh, take it as nullable, then definitely by default the int value uh, will be taken as 0. And of course, 0 is not going to... Uh, it's not going to accept the zero value okay so in that case it's going to give me an exception message okay so to handle this uh, we just apply the validation rules okay so first uh, I'm going to uh, discuss about the server-side validation so here uh, uh, it's very 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 simple to apply the server-side okay so just you need to write the required okay and just right click and just re resolve it okay and in bracket just write your validation uh, error message whatever uh, you want to show on your view okay so I'm going to show enter name okay and I'll just copy it for all so here I'm going to discuss only required required uh, validation okay control KD and now just copy this Enter department, enter department, and enter address. Okay, and now same thing, just go to your view, and if you see this, so uh, I'm going to show my uh, validation error message just below to this text box. Okay, so just we need the drop down just use at the rate HTML dot validation message for so I'm going to show uh, the validation message for this model okay so just model dot so department ID okay so in the now enter comma and if you see the extension method uh, the next suggestion is a string validation message so you can write just as a string and uh, uh, now the object HTML attribute okay so I'm going to use the iterate class equals some class okay suppose I'm going to use the error class 
and I will apply the CSS over the error class okay and now just paste it here for this text box and for address text box just paste here and just copy this and also paste there control KD and the last thing uh, you need to just put it into the style and just write a style and just paste it and in bracket uh, just use color red okay so in this way you can just uh, decorate your validation message okay and here if you see on the submit uh, uh, when the submit button click I will just call this method index method okay so here I need to create the overload of it okay so I will just copy and paste it and I will just use HTTP post okay and definitely if I'm going to submit this form then it's going to uh, give me the uh, these values of suppose the name and address field uh, it's going to be available as a parameter so I'm using this employee view model as model so here I will get this okay and same thing this model I'm going to return this view why because if if there is uh, a validation error suppose if there uh, uh, if I get some validation error then definitely I the well uh, the validation error should be uh, returned okay to the view okay and now you need this also okay let's run this and let's check what's going to happen here here you go okay so I'm just putting a breakpoint here okay just put a breakpoint here okay so on the on the submit button I am just supposed to save the form but here uh, I can just write my save code okay so right now I'm just uh, you can see I'm just not selecting anything and clicking on submit button let's see it's it's going to this controller and if you check the model all value address null department ID null and if you see the employee ID then it's zero by default okay and now just continue this okay you can see your error message okay so invalid model I have just returned this invalid model here and if if I don't do that then definitely it's not going to show me this this message okay so just uh, select this development and just write here something okay and now submit this and in this at this time it's going to give me this address field enter address okay so if you see uh, suppose if I have entered this and every time it's just hitting this controller method okay so I 
want to just stop it because I am just handling this uh, validation uh, at the server side okay and it is uh, better to use the mm, if uh, model state dot is valid okay equal to equal to true then do your actual coding okay so write your code here okay and if don't then you can add some custom message okay so basically uh, at the server side you are just handling the model state and and now uh, I'm just running it and let's see what's going to happen here what's value I am going to uh, get okay now I'm going to select this development and uh, suppose I have just uh, entered the address uh, London and just uh, left blank here okay so now I'm going to submit it and if you see uh, just press function F10 okay so if you just check here the model state is false okay so model state is false so I am just not going to perform anything here so in the same way uh, you can just uh, you can just validate your data okay so now continue this okay so enter your name now uh, I'm going to discuss the second thing the client side validation okay so it's uh, I and uh, suppose the user entered something here and uh, user uh, if I click on submit button then I don't want to hit the this method okay so so it's very 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 simple okay so you just need to do one thing just include the jquery library here so just go to your script folder and first thing is that just use jquery validate.main Uh, go to your index page and just drop it here okay and uh, what you need next is jquery unrobustive oh sorry index and just drag and drop it here and the third thing is that you need a jQuery this one jQuery just mean use this and go to the index and again drag and drop here so these three things is going to handle automatically so it's going to apply these client-side validation automatically actually so if you go to the web.config file then you can just uh, this you can just look at this uh, client side validation enable true unrobustive javascript is enable true so this two key is uh, you, you if you have added this then definitely if you include this jquery uh, reference then definitely uh, it's going to apply the client side validation now let's run this project and let's see what's going to happen okay now let's refresh this okay and now I'm going to just click on submit button 
here you can see it it does not hit the see you can see here I have just put the breakpoint here okay and now I click on development and if you see if I write something here then if see the message uh, has gone okay if I would here and now if I submit this then it's going to hit this controller so basically we are just handling this uh, validation at the client side okay so if I just clear this all okay just suppose if you have selected the development and name field and address field is empty now if I submit this form then only it's going to show me this message enter name and address at the client side okay now it's not going to uh, hit this controller method okay so I hope this is very simple and you understood clearly okay so that's all about the client side and server side validation so in the later video session we will discuss it uh, in a detail also uh, I'm just uh, I will just show you how can you just validate your data using jQuery okay so also you can just validate your input and drop down value using jQuery okay so that's all about the server side and client side validation uh, if you really like then give us a thumbs up and do subscribe my channel comment like I'm here to help you please do uh, please don't hesitate hesitate to comment okay and uh, please subscribe my youtube channel youtube youtube.com slash user slash apkanigam uh, like my page uh, facebook.com slash techno tips tutorial okay so thank you very much for watching have a great day